Hey everyone, today we'll be taking a look at quite an interesting topic known as genomic imprinting. However, before we dive into that, let's start off with a little bit of background information as to what DNA is and how it works within organisms. Now, DNA is also known as deoxyribonucleic acid. It is the blueprint for the human body, and it tells your body how to grow and make sure everything is in the right place. It can determine whether you are a boy or a girl, or if you have brown hair or black hair. DNA contains genes, which carry the information for a specific trait. A trait is a feature or characteristic that makes up who you are. For example, hair color is a trait controlled by a gene. The genes that control all of your traits are passed on to you from your parents. Now, DNA is normally very, very small and is found in the cells of your body. Now, it is often packed into structures called chromosomes. These chromosomes look like an X. Humans have 46 of these chromosomes, and they usually buddy up into 23 pairs of each for a total of 46 chromosomes. You inherit one set of chromosomes from your mother, and one set of chromosomes from your father. genes control traits is by expressing themselves to the cell and then telling what proteins to make and how much of them to make. So, genes are the blueprints or the instructions and the cells are the factories. But the interesting thing about genes is that they are also a lot like a fan or a light bulb. When you don't need them, they can be switched off. And when you do need them, they can be switched on again. For example, after you are done growing, the genes that control growth will be turned off because you don't need them to grow anymore. Now, there are many mechanisms through which genes can be turned on and off. In some cases, the switches are temporary. But in many cases, genes can be turned off permanently and will never be expressed. <clears throat> okay, so what is genomic imprinting? Sometimes we are born with genes that are already turned off depending on which parents they come from. This phenomenon is known as genomic imprinting. Now remember, we receive two copies of every gene, one from our mother and one from our father. Genomic imprinting is simply where a specific gene copy from one parent is turned off, while the gene copy from the other parent is turned on instead of both being on together. For example, if your father's genes are imprinted, then your mother's genes are turned on while your father's genes are turned off. This would mean that only your mother's genes are directly influencing how your DNA is being expressed. Those genes are called maternally expressed genes, or MEGs. Alternatively, if the mother's genes are imprinted, then only the father's genes are expressed and are called paternally expressed genes, or PEGs. Now, imprinting occurs due to the modification of DNA. The DNA is modified so that specific regions of it are unreadable and thus are not expressed. It is important to understand that imprinting does not change the sequence of DNA, but merely changes how it is being expressed. Imprinting is necessary for the normal development of many different species, but there are some instances where imprinting causes issues. Some imprinted genes encode very important proteins or have important roles in regulation. If something goes wrong with their remaining active copy, certain diseases may occur. 
Mm, look at that turtle. Doesn't he look delicious? Imprinting disorders can occur in many different ways, but the most common way occurs when imprinted genes are deleted from their chromosomes. Inside the cell, there are many processes that happen all at once, and when the cell is making DNA, mistakes can happen. One type of DNA mistake is called a gene deletion, where a portion of the chromosome gets cut out. When parts of genes get cut out, those genes become inactive and are essentially turned off. For genes that are not imprinted, each copy from the mother and father is equally active. So, if one of them has a deletion, the other copy is still working and can make up for the loss. However, if a gene is maternally imprinted, which means that only the father's copy is the one that is usually turned on, then a deletion in the father's copy can be very dangerous because the mother's copy is already inactive and, and cannot help. So in this situation, both copies of the gene are off and that whole gene's function is lost. This can cause disease. There are many different diseases and conditions that involve imprinting disorders. Examples include several types of cancers, diabetes, obesity, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, autism, Angelman syndrome, and Prader-Willi syndrome. Those last two syndromes are prime examples because they are both related conditions that are primarily influenced by imprinting malfunctions. All right, so Angelman syndrome is a neurodevelopmental disorder characterized by sleep disturbances, seizures, jerky movements, and frequent laughter or smiling, while Prader-Willi syndrome is characterized by low muscle tone, reduced physical development, cognitive disabilities, and obesity. Studies of Prader-Willi syndrome in particular have revealed a lot about genetic imprinting and the functions of genes that are imprinted. One study found that paternally expressed genes on one chromosome normally regulate the activity of maternally expressed genes on another chromosome. In Prader-Willi syndrome, deletions in the father's genes cause deregulation of the mother's genes, and when those maternal genes are expressed without regulation, their gene products may be the main causes behind the symptoms we associate with the syndrome. So not only are imprinted genes important independently, but they affect each other and interact in order to maintain proper cellular and bodily functioning. There is still a lot left to be understood and discovered when it comes to genetic imprinting and gene interactions. While this video does not cover every aspect of imprinting, we hope it has provided an interesting introduction to a complex and vital phenomenon.